Hey everybody, it's Oplin Spiritual with another reading. Here we are. Pick a cup. You gotta pick a cup, mother. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick, 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 pick a cup. All right, so here we are together as a family today. Hope you guys are having a great day, right? All right, so this is the last two new cups that I was talking about in the other readings, blah, blah, blah. Um, all that shit. Okay. These are the, they came together. I bought these two together from the same house at an estate sale. They're very magical here. Very beautiful. So there's something with the power of two and two, you know, is union, maybe a second chance at something here, but choose intuitively. And we're going to see what's in the cup. I don't know what's in the cup, but yeah, I'll see you in your reading. All right, cup one. Whoever chose this beautiful, effing, gorgeous cup, this is your reading. This is so beautiful, this cup. When I saw this cup, I was like, are you serious? Yellow and blue flowers. This is what it says on the back, made in England. Nelson. ECM, that could be significant. Letter H. So this cup is so beautiful. So something with your solar plexus and your throat chakra is going to be significant with this cup. I'm hearing down in the dumps already. So Chinese here, the monkey, uh, Virgo. So you could be feeling sad right now or down in the dumps. We have number three here. Chinese here, the tiger, Pisces. Yeah, there's something about you um, drifting or like just feeling you're just drifting along. Like the ocean floor, you know, like how things just move like this. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, there's someone here thinking. They're sitting on a chair. They're thinking about a lot of things. I'm not going to lie. Like a lot of different things. You could be thinking about a pet. A person or your family. I don't know. This person's just sitting there. Specifically a female, I'm seeing. This could be someone thinking about you. So something ran out of time. It's like running out of time here. Letter C. Letter W is here. That's interesting. You have number five right here. So five days from this cup, five weeks, there's going to be a big change. It could have to do with the triangle situation. You have also a letter Y here. So yes to your question. We have Aries. I'm saying, I'm, well, I'm saying... <laughs> I'm hearing something like plural. That's I just heard plural. Something about like Portuguese egg tarts right here, which is great because I love that shit. Portuguese egg tarts. Mm. Love that. Maybe you like bakery stuff or you're getting some kind of baked goods or something. There's a question mark here. Ooh, number six. So a question in six days will be answered. Yeah, there's like a catapult here, like something being shot at you. Uh, news happening very quickly, something sh being shot at you. Letter F. Th this news is going to hit you right in your face. And you're going to be like, wow, I, I, I can't even believe that, that I didn't even know about that. It's something that was obvious, but now it's being, it's like right in your face. You can't run away from it. Chinese Year of the Rooster, Libra. Carts. I just heard Carton. You have Chinese Year of the Dragon here. You can see that beautiful dragon. Yeah, this, this dragon's bringing you gifts. A lot of magic here. And there's 3D stuff happening right here with the cup. And that looks like a little vulture. Like, look, you see it? A vulture connected to this dragon. Taurus and Scorpio here. Taurus, Taurus Scorpio axes here. There's something ending completely. Like death to the old you, death to like a cycle in your life. It's closing out. It's done. 
Chinese ear of the rat, Chinese ear of the rooster, Chinese ear of the tiger. Whatever this is closing out, it's bringing you a victory in your life. There's a victory, letter S, letter E, and number five again. This is a major change. You have the ace of wands right here. Blessing coming in from the universe. That's going to make you feel enlightened, like spark that, that thing that you, that you haven't had in a while. It's like a, an intense spark. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're going to feel so good here. Letter X, letter I, and letter H is here. Hmm, interesting. Number nine, Chinese ear of the monkey, Virgo. There's like a fishing pole here, and the line is really out there. You know what I mean? Like the line, five, five, five. You know what I mean? Uh, the line is really out there. But now it's been sitting. You know how you have to wait and be patient when you're fishing, and then when something... Now you're reeling it in. I feel like you're at the point of reeling it in now. You've been waiting, patient. The line's been in there. Chinese ear, the monkey. Yeah, you're reeling in whatever this is. It's like a big fish, you know? There is a hula hoop here. So something that... I'm getting this like... Like joking. Like trickster vibe. Someone was playing games with you. Playing games, being tri trickery is here. There's someone like, wow, look at this figure. This person's playing the violin. Are you seeing this? Hold on, let me look in the, look at this. This person's playing the violin connected to the full moon. 54 is here. And you know, violin is like very sad music. So this, is, this person's in their feelings right now. Very sad, you know, like the frequency of the violin. It, like, really tugs at you, you know? Letter B is here. This person could be connected to Chinese Year of the Dragon, Chinese Year of the Dog, and Sagittarius, and Capricorn here. Scorpio and... Yeah, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn... Gemini and Libra. There's like a chessboard and everything. It's like playing the game. There's like playing the game, like who's going to win the game? 51. And you have a horseshoe here, so there's something about good luck. You have luck on your side. Number three again, so in three days, three weeks. Three months, you're going to feel like you have luck on your side in a situation. And my nose is getting itchy, so this could have to do an argument or a fight. And 31 is here. Okay, so this shit is dry. So right away when I turned that, this looks like a female. Her hair is blowing in the wind. And this is giving me like the Ace of Wands type of shit. So this could be someone that is bringing you a new beginning. And if you're this female, you're going into a brand new beginning. Letter K is here. But this is like brand new, new start. And the wind's blowing in your hair and it's like going to catapult you. Which is very beautiful. Very nice. I, I really like that. It's like going from like sadness and stuff to like, you know... Like, making it through the storm. Yeah, the, the hermit was right there. So you could have been single for a while or just on your own journey, like, doing shadow work and stuff like that. The Ace of Scrolls. Look at this. The Ace of Swords. And Spirit's been with you this whole time. You have the keys. So you're getting some kind of clarity and truth. And there's an answer coming to you from Spirit, from your ancestors. The Celtic uh, owl, the hanged man. It's something that you've been contemplating on, sacrificing for. And whatever this is, you're getting the answers now. Wow, with the star here, are you serious? Chinese here, the horse. Look at all these horses here. Yeah, you're being gifted something from the universe. 
And with the Eight of Pentacles, this has to do with a, a career thing, your career path. Look, and you have all the, the Chinese zodiacs here. Isn't that cute? You have the pig, the rabbit, the ox, the dog. Got Leo energy here. The fish, Pisces. Yeah, it's something to do with your career. It's something that you always wanted. Knowledge, expertise. Wish is coming true. Yeah, temperance here, especially if you're Sagittarius or Sagittarius season significant to this. Or the summer, Leo with the sunflower here, Pisces is here. Yeah, and this is going to get you out of feeling sad. I'm hearing worthless. Maybe you felt like you were worthless here, which is very harsh and very sad. Yeah, the Eight of Mirrors. This is, this, is, this is actually what I saw. I thought it was the Hermit, but it's in reverse. So this is telling me that you're, you're having a hard time leaving something in the past. And with the Five of Swords here, it's something that really hurts you. Especially if you're Chinese, you're the goat, because this looks like a goat to me. Leo. Yeah, you're having a hard time leaving something that was in the past here. You've been sacrificing and now you're right. Yeah, Psyche, the world. Yeah, you're freeing yourself from the past. Because the star, you have Aquarius. You have all the fixed signs here, Aquarius, especially Aquarius and, and like, like something connected to this full moon in Aquarius that just passed. But if you're watching this at another time, something with that full moon is connecting with this, with you. It could be a Leo full moon. You know, with the two of pentacles here, it's about a choice and keeping your life in balance. Eight of stones and the four of cups here. Something disappointed you at work, like you felt let down, you missed an opportunity. And with the Nine of Wands here, it's like you never gave up. You're not giving up. You never did and you never will. And that's why you're being blessed now. The Page of Wands. Chinese here, the goat again. Aries, Capricorn is here. Someone's coming in to help you here. And with the Phoenix, Judgment. This is faded and destined here. This person's coming in to help you. This could be someone that's going to change your life with money. You don't even see this coming because right now you could be in this energy. You don't even see this coming. But oh shit, look at this. Kala is here. The, the tower. This is unexpected. You do not see this coming. It's all faded and destined here. And with the six of cups, this is something coming back around from the past. This could be a soulmate as well. And remember, I saw that person in the cup playing the violin. Now this person's playing this music, this like flute. Again, you have to make a choice. What are you going to do? Are you going to take a leap of faith or are you going to stay in your comfort zone? I don't know. It's all up to you, baby. Whatever you decide to do. But comment down below. Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light. Cup two, baby. What's going on? What is it? What is happening? So you could be leaving the past behind now. You're finally leaving the past behind. Wow, look how deep this plate is. Very interesting here. So this is the cup you chose in the plate. It's very beautiful. Like, I love this. Wedgwood, bone china, made in England. R2, Aquarius, February, Chinese year of the ox. You have number six here. Chinese year of the snake, Gemini. You have W, two, nine, nine, three, and letter P. So that could be significant. Oh, you have a, a, a ghost here. Spirit watching over you. 
Oh, you're going to be getting a lot of, of spiritual things happening right now for you. Yep. Chinese year of the goat, Leo. A lot of intuitive hits here. Especially if you're air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be taking a flight, taking a spiritual retreat or trip. Wow, look how clear this cup is. It's, it's beyond here. Wow, I'm seeing like a big lion at the bottom of the cup. You see it? Leo, lion, strength. Number 15, letter L. Chinese year of the snake, Pisces, Gemini. Chinese year of the pig is here, Sagittarius. There's a watering can here. So manifesting a brand new door. I'm seeing someone walking through this door. But once the door closes, it's it like, like, it's like brick. It's like a brick door that's open just for you to go through. And then it closes right behind you. Like, it's like, like, that's what I'm seeing. So only you can go through this, this portal, this door that you manifested right now and if you're watching this in leo season this is when this is happening here this is happening right now ll 111 there's like a feather duster here so cleaning up the dust and the cobwebs and all that shit you're cleaning something up in your life you're getting rid of stuff divine timing is here i'm seeing the hanged man so there's something with the hanged man here so looking at something in a different perspective, taking time out, maybe you've been sacrificing too much and now it's time for you to, to receive instead of give. Chinese year of the rat Capricorn. And I'm hearing, ta-da! <laughs> That's what I just heard. The 17th could be significant. So we have Chinese year of the pig, Chinese year of the rat, Chinese year of the monkey, Chinese year of the tiger, Chinese year of the ox, and we have earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Letter M. Someone was trying to put control over you, but what's happening now is that you're being, you're, you're getting confirmation from your friends that this person's nothing. You know what I mean? Like this is someone that, that had their like thumb on top of you, but for some reason you're getting help from your friends to, to either tell this person off or that they're gonna be backing you up when you go confront this person. Maybe this is a bully or something. We have number seven, maybe in seven days, a week from now, or cancer season, something with that, July. There's a Libra scale here. So there's something about keeping everything in balance here, like keeping things you know balanced in your life, not going too far, letter E. I F is here. So if maybe you're asking yourself, what if I did this? What if I did that? Like, you're not truly informed with what is actually happening. We have a giant Chinese ear of the ox here. So Aquarius, so maybe something connected to Aquarius, Aquarius season 24 is here. Things are coming together now. But you're not you, you don't un, you don't like it's not that you don't understand you don't believe it. And I feel like this has to do with like your trauma. Maybe you have childhood trauma, but it's something about your trauma that you don't believe it. You don't believe that this is happening and it's good things. Letter P, I see the Phoenix rising here. It's a brand new beginning in your health, well-being, your inside, your mental, everything like that. It's all about you, your avatar body, like the spirit, your spirit in the avatar body is being cleansed. Letter Z. And look how clear this is. There's like, you know, not too much to say with this cup because it's so clear. Like you feel so clear and abundant. I'm seeing a lot of abundance here. I'm seeing like you surrounded by all these beautiful colors, like purples, yellows, blues, greens, like everything, like so beautiful. Yeah, your wish is coming true. That's what it is. Your wish is coming true. Chinese year of the horse, cancer. Chinese year of the pig is here. Sagittarius, Chinese year of the dragon. And Chinese year of the dog too, Scorpio and Taurus. 
something is faded and destined and it's about to happen on the 15th could be the 15th and we have letter j we also have an axe here so something's being cut out of your life for good so this could be addictions or just thoughts feelings something that's holding you back it's not going to be holding you back anymore obviously that's what i'm seeing here yeah and it's connected to a wish you also have a plug here. So something's being plugged in, like getting energy again. So maybe this is you taking time out, recharging here. Hmm. Something about recharging here. And this is still my making my. The soldier. King of Cups. Someone could be coming towards you with a lot of feelings here. Let's see. What else about this cup? Bella Rosa, the devil. Ooh. This could be someone you don't know. This could be someone that does know you, but they're like a secret admirer. It's faded and destiny. I look at this. Chinese ear of the dragon. Chinese ear of the rooster. This person has feelings for you. They're in love with you. They're mirroring you. This could be someone, like I said, is a secret admirer here. The storyteller, the hermit. You're getting enlightened about something here. By spirit, by God, by the universe. You're going to know who this person is or this person's getting enlightened about you. Maybe they feel like it's the right time. You're the queen of swords here. Healing, working on yourself. We have Chinese here, the cat here, Aries. And with the sun here. Yeah, you shed a lot of tears. You experienced a lot in your life. But whatever all, like whatever the lesson was, you learned. But whatever this is that you experienced, it brought you enlightenment here. Like, yeah, it was a hard journey that you were on. You did a lot of shadow work. And you shed a lot of tears. But it was worth it in the end. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Like, I'm seeing you letting go of the past. You're letting go of things like memories and stuff like that that aren't good memories. You know what I mean? Like they were keeping you stuck because of all this shadow work you were doing. Like now you're able to, to forgive and let go of all these things. Yeah, you still hold on to something dear to you. This could be someone that passed on, passed away from you. It could be that you, you're never going to let go of that, which, you know, that's that's something you'll never do. Nobody like not everyone is like that. You know what I mean? Unless you just, you, you're you just not human. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're just not compassionate. You will always remember that. But I'm seeing you that you're, you're learning. You're letting go. There's also some, this person is also letting go of a lot of things. They went through a lot as well. You're mirroring each other. This, this uh, devil person, this person you don't know. Ac acrobat the page of pentacles someone wants your forgiveness someone wants to apologize to you they want to tell you how they feel especially the virgo here chinese here the monkey here Vir virgo this is a virgo capricorn virgo earth energy eight of mirrors this person's from the past this person's been on a long journey here this is someone that left the past behind they left a lot to talk to you and be with you and get to this point. And this is also you as well. You're mirroring each other. And with the Six of Mirrors, Six of Cups, this is definitely a soulmate here that could be coming into your life. I'm hearing reintroduced. So maybe this is someone reintroducing themselves to you. Two of Pentacles, you have a choice to make here. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. And this is also giving me the vibe of leaving something behind that you don't need anymore. It's like a choice to give this person a chance because maybe you've been by yourself for a while. You don't trust people. You know, you've been on your own journey. The Five of Cups here. But I feel like whatever sadness... Because this is giving me like the Lotus, like Kuan Yin kind of vibes. Like 
you know, like refreshing energy, like a brand new beginning healed beyond. Like you healed through a lot of sad things. Like whoever chose this cup, like you you went through a lot of shit that was very sad. And and honestly, it made you feel alone. Like no one understands you. You know, like you felt abandoned here for a long time. But it, you're a very spiritual person. Like you feel very blessed. Wow, the Merlin here, the hero. Yeah, you're you're a wizard or you're a, you're a witch. Look, Chinese here, the cat is here again. Chinese here, the snake. Yeah, you know shit. You're definitely enlightened here. Yeah. Wow, look at this. The sun's coming out. So whatever this is, I feel like this is my cup right here. Because this is this is like vibes of me. Like you went through a lot and now you're being rewarded here. And this spiritual enlightenment that you earned, not a lot of people get to have this. This is like very rare. So this is not for everybody, but yeah, I love this. This is so good. So congratulations, you made it. You made it through, baby. Let me stretch my back. Okay. I didn't know my seat like leaned back so much. Like I hit my head on the <laughs> wall. <laughs> but yeah, this is great. I love this. You're gonna be like hit like that. I didn't get I did not hurt or anything, but it's like a little a little knock from spirit, like, hey, you earned it, you got it. This is you. Stop being sad. And definitely leave the past in the past. All right? I love you guys. Thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.